Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton. Is that the pulse of distant music, or just the beat of your heart? And it is time for episode 27, nope that ain't right, episode 42 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. We are hopefully closing into the end game. We have some loose ends to tie up and a bunch more interviews to do, but before we do any of that, I've decided to sneak around the back end of Sam Daybreak's, uh, I keep nearly saying house, but it is in fact his bar. Because there's several loose ends that I still want to tie up. And one of the reasons I haven't been able to tie them up is because I needed to return to places where I'd already been and uh, unlock things. And I forgot that I needed to do that because this game has no reminder mechanism. I can't put a pin in a location and come back to it later. So I'll admit I have looked up not the answers to some things, but where to find the answers to some things. And I understand that there's a couple here. So I haven't spoiled myself on any, any actual information in the game. I simply now know where to look for a couple things. And I had completely forgotten that there were locked safes in the back of Sam Daybreak's bar. Pile bunker gauntlets. These might come in handy. What does that mean? Pile bunker? A lump of non-human flesh. Wait, a lump of non-human flesh? That's the god flesh, I assume. The stolen missing god flesh. Which we, uh... Which we know was used to transgress the, um... The holy seal. That's interesting. Sam's still got a pair of pile bunker gauntlets kicking around. Once an assassin, always an assassin, I guess. They're well used. It looks like they only have one charge left in them. They'll probably come in handy. I'll borrow them for a bit. <laughs> a pair of gloves might come in handy. Sam has a safe locked by a knife mech nightmare computer. Seems excessive. There's a lump of flesh in here. It sure isn't human. I can feel the cosmos when I look at it. It looks like this has been carved off something. Is this flesh from Crying Grudge? I wonder if I can take it back to Crying Grudge and straight up just ask them? It? What's the appropriate pronoun for a god? Uh, Pile Bunker Gauntlets. A high-end destructive weapon that can punch through thick material. It only has one use left in it. Well, that's definitely going to uh, be relevant to smashing a certain object, which we're going to go do now because I've been wondering what's in that goddamn thing this entire time for ages. So let's get back into our endgame high-speed travel mode and I'll be right back. Well, I cleverly got lost, went the wrong way in reverse order, and then uh, gave up and called Lydia for a lift. So, you know, one of the people who's probably colluding with the people who've done the terrible thing uh, just uh, gave me a lift to where I needed to go. I still think it's weird <laughs> that she's a prime suspect, but we're just kind of like, yeah, it's it's fine. Uh, I'm sure she will not try to murder us in order to hide her terrible secrets or someone else's. Anyway, here we are with the loose earth that I've been trying to smash. I am downright amazed at what I can destroy with some pile bunker gauntlets. I mean, really? It's just a, sh it's a small hummock of loose earth. I could destroy that with a spade. Like, it's not that difficult. We're not like blasting through trans-dimensional concrete or whatever. Anyway. Mm. What the fuck? Who the hell are you? Mother? No, you're not her. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, buddy, this is not what I was expecting. Oh, I thought this was like a shallow grave with a clue in it. Um, hi. Who are you? Mother called me Dan- Mother called me Danian Gate. A child born into darkness, born never to be known. This must be Com uh, Comalina Silence's illegal child. 
Who is your mother? The corridor lady. Oh, I want to ask both these questions. I want to know who the father is, but I also really want to know what they mean by car corridor lady. Corridor lady? Who's that? What corridor? Built into the fabric. The corridors. Why are you here? I thought I escaped. You cannot escape blood. That's a gunshot wound. We need to get you treated. No, I failed. They want me dead. Who wants you dead? Mother and the man. Oh boy. Okay, so... Uh, if this is the person... If this is the blood trail from the... Like, this could have been the person who whose blood trail led to led to a wall and disappeared, then. Who's the man? Sometimes a friend, sometimes not. Why do they want you dead? What did you fail at? My destiny. Oh. Was your destiny killing the council? Are the council the dead people in the room? Yes. Then yes. He shot me. I killed them. My knife danced. The room became red. I wasn't the only monster in the room. It wasn't supposed to be there. What do you mean? I made this. She thinks I didn't. I know more than she thinks. I see the lines that were hidden. There is no room in paradise for me. You need to see why. You're going to die if you don't get treated. Good. Life has been bad. I shouldn't have been born. No, don't. Ah, oh, buddy. He slit his own throat. Just perfect. Who really were you? What the hell is going on here? I can take a blood sample at least. I mean, this is all I. My money's on Carmelina. Things are certainly lining up. So, okay, so it, <laughs> it looks like my awful prediction that there were multiple plots going on at the same time and they all crashed into each other. Uh, is probably true, right? Um, the blood sample is not in the database, but there is hit on some DNA. What the hell? This blood has Carmelina's DNA. Boom, I called it. I am actually a good investigator. Hooray. It's not her blood, but it could be her offspring. Was Danian Gate her child? Actually, I think it's Danione Gate. Danione Gate? I don't know. His sample matches the one used to open the third seal bloodlock last night. That puts him in the penthouse at the time of the murder. Well, what do you know? Ice Kiwami's blood matches Danian Gates. Does that mean Carmelina and Ice Kiwami had a kid together? Daddy's boy got through the bloodlock because he had council blood. This probably means that one of the tampered birth records I found in Kiwami's apartment relates to Danian. Okay, let's figure this out. Die, die Noni Gate. Dynonigate? I should look that word up. I wonder if it means something. Is this what happened during Carmelina's isolation 25 years ago? Did she hide while she had a child? There's some kind of strange flesh fused to his body. What is this? That's probably the god flesh, right? Is this the flesh from Crying Grudge that Carmelina fused with someone? Was this used to get through the fourth holy seal? He has a knife. It's a perfect blade. It's covered in blood. Starlight can analyze it. Well, it's going to be all of the council, I assume. His own blood and all of the council members. Is this the murder weapon? There's no blood here that matches the marshals guarding the council building. The blade is perfect as well. It wouldn't have caused the ragged gashes in their throats. Somehow he got to the council without going through the guards. This knife matches the lacerations on the council murder victims. Danioni's get... Dainoni Gate's gunshot wound came from Montserrat's gun. His blood matches the gunshot spatter in the penthouse. Dainoni Gate broke into the council penthouse, started attacking, and Montserrat shot him. Dainoni Gate fled here. His blood matches the blood trail that ended at the wall, which answers the who, but not the what the hell. I need to find out more about this guy. Uh, I mean, sh yes. Here's a turnaround that I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting a new player to get added at this point. However, I do think that having <laughs> having a lengthy investigation in a detective story um, that ends with "Haha, the real killer was in a box all along" is ridiculous. Key item Corridor key, a key given to me by Danai on gate. 
He said it would allow me to use hidden corridors. The Nyon Gate's blood sample. Sample of blood taken from Dion Gate. Oh, thanks. You couldn't have done that at the start before I made a fool of myself? Man, what the fucking... Okay. Oh, I have a... Which button is it? There we go. <laughs> I have a flashlight. Okay, it looks like he has a million combat knives, which makes sense. Got a miserable hole that he lives in. Uh, I can really take a look at his corpse. He's got snazzy pyjamas. I'd actually really like a pair of pyjamas like that. I, I need them. I need a new pair of pyjamas pretty badly. I, um... You know, it gets cold up here, up here on my AI instantiation satellite. I could wrap them around my antennae. Uh, but gosh, okay. Well, okay. There was a corridor... There was so... Okay, so there was a secret corridor up in the... Uh, up in the council chamber, but it was a magic secret corridor, which is a much stupider explanation than my cool explanation that a body had been moved. Ugh. Filthy. It's a bit of a rough bait and switch to, to be like, okay, we definitely know there's no secret corridor here. Ah, but what if there was one? So I guess let's uh, let's take a look at the corpse. A secret killer hidden in the depths of paradise. I do so love these islands. I guess that's it. What a miserable life this poor bastard had. So not only... Okay, so my prediction about Henry seems to be true of this guy. My idea with Henry was that he'd been he'd been constructed in such a way, you know, he'd been manipulated and changed and transformed in order to create a perfect killer that they could release on the council, right? I guess that's true, but it wasn't him, was it? Was he a prototype? Was he other people using the same plan with a different person? Oh man, this is this is going to drive me insane. This game is why this this game is wild in how clever and not clever it is simultaneously, in that it's pretty much not clever at all, but it does keep surprising me. The key... Di I've already forgotten what the, the game pronounced it as. Dinonegate? Dinonegate? The key Dinonegate fit... The key Dinonegate gave me fits this lock. I may as well tumble down the rabbit hole. These islands are so weird. What's behind door number one? I'm starting to feel like the writers consider um, direct references to common cliches to be the height of comi comical writing. Hidden corridors, where am I? These corridors can't be attached to where I found Dinonigati. Dinonigati? Ugh. That was on the edge of a cliff. Starlight doesn't know where I am. Dinonigati said his mother was a corridor lady. The blood test confirmed his mother is Carmelina. Did she make these? It looks like there are several portals to elsewhere. A couple seem to go to the syndicate apartments, including what I presume is Witness's balcony. He always gets the biggest balcony so he can watch the island's end. One portal looks like it goes to the lobby of the council building. The other is different. It looks like an amateur job that's punched through into these corridors. Does that one bypass the seals somehow? I wonder if there's a statue of, um... No, I guess not. Uh, I was wondering if the statue that, uh... Poor sweet innocent Henry Division saw when he passed through uh, on his way to go do murders uh, was in here because I feel like this is this is the this is the answer right the key answer that, ex that explains everything this is the the way that we discover that um, you know someone who couldn't possibly have been in two places at once this is how they were in two places at once right that's the murder mystery thing you know this person's alibi is perfect because we know they were in this place at this time and there's no way they could have reached this other location and then your detective story has you know some means by which that was achieved <sighs> extra dimensional magic corridors feel like a cop-out they really do as does introducing a whole nother character uh, i feel like i feel like my prediction about henry division was sensible given the data it's just weird to see it applied to a sudden, suddenly revealed other character. It's um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a third act plot twist, if you, if you will. Anyway, all right, let's see where these go. So that looks like it goes to the council zone, which is probably where the blood stain comes out. Question is, can I go back? That corridor was different. It looks amateurish. This bypasses the seals. Dinonigate referred to his mother as the Corridor Lady. 
His blood proves that Carmelina is his mother. I think it's safe to assume that she made these corridors. She's the architect, after all. The corridors skip sections of space and allow the user to cross the islands in an extremely short space of time. Don Enegate said that he'd been trained to kill. Did Carmelina hide him and use these corridors to get him to the council to commit murder last night? The corridor that Dino Nagate used to escape back to his hideaway wasn't the same as the others. Maybe Dino Nagate inherited his mother's architecture power. <laughs> inherited his mother's architecture powers and created it himself. Interesting. I wasn't sure that was. Uh, I didn't realize how that was how architecture worked. Um. <clears throat> My dad, by which I mean one of the people who coded the AI framework that instantiated me, uh, is an architect. I didn't know I'd inherited architecture powers, although it now occurs to me that I did have a long conversation about gable ends with my flatmate on my way home today. So, really, who's to say? Why didn't Carmelina just make a corridor that bypassed the seals? The council kept the seals a mystery to her. If she doesn't know what they are, she probably couldn't build a corridor to a location she doesn't know. Carmelina and Witness were together at the time of the murder. There is a five minute window when Wet Witness stepped out onto his balcony to take a call from Aikiko. Carmelina could have used that time to travel through one of these corridors, get to Dainonigate, and take him to the council building. The trials are going to be exciting. I wonder if... I mean, if the, if the, if the corridor that goes to the council building is amateurish, and strange. Why did that? Then that's supposed to imply that Dinonigate did it, right? But if Carmel, if Carmelina made these tunnels with the intention of doing this murder, then there's no reason why why it would be amateurish. It would just be a natural path that went there, right? And if she's not supposed to know about the seals, how did she know about the place to make the corridor? And if neither of them knew. Like, okay, right. If this was her plan, why did Dainonigate smash this in here at the last minute? Which is what seems to be implied by what, what we've just been told. But if that's the case, like, why were they able to do this now and not previously? Hmm. Man, this is kind of wild. Okay, let's try this one. This corridor isn't letting me through. It looks like it goes to a syndicate apartment, probably Carmelina's. That would explain how she accessed the corridors. She can visit Dinonigate's little lair anytime she needed to. This is so messed up. Alright, this one looks like the council building. They're, um, pleasant, uh, 90s swimming pool vibes foyer. This is the entrance to the council, bu the council building. It takes seconds to get here from Dinonigate's vault. A network of secret corridors across the island that contained a hidden killer. Did Carmelina set up this plan years ago? It was a nearly perfect plan. If Judge hadn't summoned me, she might have gotten away with it. She could still get away with it if I don't present the right evidence. This is a bizarre case. I suppose, now that I think about it... The, uh... This was before two of the locks, right? Let's, let's double check that. Oh wait, no, he must have created this on the way out. This isn't how he got in to do the murder, right? Because this is on the other side of the locks, so he could only create this after he's already been here. So Dinonigate gets in through here, does the murders, uh, then the demon bursts out, and I, I'm not really sure how those connections relate to one another yet. That might be two plans crashing into each other. Um, he survives the killing and then drags his way out of here and then he creates his own his own pathway with his magic architecture powers um, to here and then crawls back to his hole to die conveniently living just long enough for me to catch him uh, right that leaves this one which probably goes to the balcony Another weird door. This one leads to Witness's apartment. A conspiracy crafted from the fabric of the island. Carmelina's hidden killer commit the crime to end all crimes? I mean, he did admit it to our face. Hey man, you may you may be surprised by the lack of a of a of a noise 
of the of the lift opening and closing don't worry about it don't think about it it's fine okay well that leaves me with a lot to think about and this is pretty much the end of the episode so <laughs> i'm going to spend a minute or two running through some stuff uh i'm going to say in my head but i'll do it out loud just as a special little treat for you guys Let's take a quick look. So obviously I've got loads more questions to ask everybody about. I still don't have an answer about who killed the Holy Seal Marshals. <laughs> um, oh, I still need to do that. I don't, I don't even know where the building logs are for that. Huh. But yes, okay, so here's, here's the chains of logic as I currently see them, right? Carmelina and Witness have a kid 25 years ago. Carmelina and Witness also have a secret trysting location. Witness insists that he hasn't been back there since then, and uh, Carmelina's um, testimony doesn't really transgress that. So, Witness might be uninvolved in what's happened. He might genuinely just have been a, a, an unwitting donator of genetic material to the plot. Okay, so Carmelina. She trains a child in a box for 25 years to murder the council. On murdering day, she gets the kid in somehow. Additionally, in that lab that Carmelina and Witness had, they tortured a demon and put it in a box. That box somehow also ended up at the crime scene at the time of the murder and opened at the time of the murder. So... That's two threads simultaneously. <clears throat> oh, and Witness triggered the activation of the demon box. In addition to that, we have the question of Henry Division, who some time ago was lured into becoming infested by a demon. He was framed for the murder of One Last Kiss by Carmelina. Probably. <laughs> um, oh, hang on, no, we know that it was Ice Kiwami, not, not Witness, who, who fathered the child. So I guess the connection between those two is mysterious uh, with that regard. So Carmelina and Witness plan a demon box landmine for some reason. Carmelina simultaneously plans a, a human child box for, for presumably the same purpose. Henry Division is, is lured into becoming a demon uh, infested guy and Carmelina murders um, Grace Bloodlines with the collusion of Aikiko 14, possibly, and then and, and pins it on Henry Division. He murders her because she's a demonologist, right? So there's a clear connection between that and her demon bomb. Is this redundancy? Did she make two plans, a demon and a human, in order to, in order to make sure that the council all die? How is Aikiko connected? Is she colluding? Or is she just really bad at her job? Did Carmelina ask her to leave and she was like, sure, fine. And then she comes back and the guy's dead and Carmelina's like, well, Grace is dead, I guess. Henry Division did it. Um, and she just believes. Maybe because of bias against a, a commoner. Alongside all of this, Doom Jazz is hiding something. He's definitely colluding with some people in some ways, but peripherally. Yuri might just be an idiot. I don't know that he's actually connected with any of this beyond giving Henry access to illegal texts, which is part of how he got demon infested. Marsh the martial guards under Aikiko disappeared and were replaced by dead citizens. So that's a direct connection there as well. And finally, we have Sam and Lydia Daybreak, who appear to have um, figured out how to transgress all of the Holy Seals, which means that they're almost certainly involved in this. I need to check something on Carmelina's timeline, because if I remember correctly, she was supposed to have uh, visited the council, right? But she doesn't have access to the council chamber? Okay, so I can't find the evidence that I'm putting for, but if I want to construct a narrative where Carmelina is an evil mastermind, I probably could. So, <clears throat> Carmelina constructs a system a, a, a re a, with redundancy and so on. So she 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 and Witness put a demon in a box. She and Ice Kiwami put a child in a box. By doing so, they create two perfect weapons. They get Sam and Lydia Daybreak to 
open the way for the child to get in there, the child gets in there. They also trigger the demon box. Those guys are slaughtered. What's Henry Division's involvement? Maybe he's there to be the scapegoat. Maybe he's there to pin everything on afterwards. Which means that getting him demon infected in the first place was necessary to that plan. Which means that Yuri is involved in the plan because he is Carmelina's secretary and he passed the material on to Henry, okay? So that's all of these guys tied to it directly. What the fuck is up with Aikiko? What's going on there? And that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it today. We've discovered a lot. <laughs> we've had a lot of questions answered and we've had further questions raised. Um, yeah, gosh, I'm... Uh, yeah, no, it certainly looks like Carmelina's at the heart of all of this, um, and she has various, varying degrees of accomplices. So join me next time where we start walking up to people and demanding to exactly know what the fuck is going on, please tell me! Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.